Hey, family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, High Priestess Amar. Back on more tea, back on another read. We're going to go right in, stage our space, and see what's the energy. I feel like right off the back, we're going to start with my air family, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And right as I wrote Aquarius down on my paper, now I'm hearing Amadea again, uh, when she was like, when I talked to Charles before I hung up, this guy has something to do with a divorce or something. Somebody ancestors could be spiritually like involved, energetically involved. Like they could be relaying messages between two people. Somebody could be playing tit for tat. Okay. But let's go right in and stage our space. Hi, power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white life. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. My air family. As we, as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Uh-oh. And with that being said, let's tap in. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be playing tit for tat. Okay, but let's get in it. Hold on. Hmm. Hi, pal, archangels, ancestors, guys, gossip of the divine white light. What is the current energy for my Aquarius? Current energy for my Aquarius, air family, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is the current energy for my Aquarius? I don't know. I'm getting the energy of Bill Cosby. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. This could be a father. Somebody, it's a lot of secrets coming out about a father or a dad, an opportunist. I'm hearing murderer. Somebody killed somebody's dog or hurt somebody. I'm getting like that man. He got all that. If you want to take a ride with me. And, 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 and. Somebody like uh somebody all right. Oh, I'm getting a whole lot of shit. All right, is this happening in order? I'm hearing say say what your name is. Oh yeah, that bitch you girl. Tell me where you're headed. Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes. All right. So I'm getting like somebody could enter the family or been in a family where they got betrayed. And it's giving me like the Bill Cosby, the dad was the one who did the most, whether it's your dad, a karmic dad, a, a, a ex boyfriend's dad, whatever. This dad father here, okay, because I'm getting Bill Cosby with his little case and all this and stuff. I'm getting like they, they found out a lot of shit about this man, right? So it could have something to do with a tarot reader, a psychic, a spiritualist of some sort, but it don't have to be. But I'm getting that. So raven energy, all right? Take how it resonates. Um, or somebody who just got is one of the clairs. Okay, clairvoyancy. Oh, family, please keep in mind I am not only a tarot reader as well, I am also a psychic. My readings definitely could be future based. Please take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. Okay, do not make that shit stick if it's not for you, if it's not sticking. All right, so let it just let it fly or whatever. And, and then place, your, place yourself in roles and genders wherever you see fit. Flip it, twist it, whatever you need to do. Um, but what I'm getting though is like, um, so where, where, where was we? So, all right. So does somebody find out a whole lot of shit, right? Did somebody, something could have happened to somebody. Cause I'm getting, it skips to the part of Kevin Hart. Somebody could be a jokester, like the joke. They joke around. They like comedy central. They like to laugh. They like to smoke, get high. I get high, baby. I get high, baby. Somebody real chill personality. Uh, if they don't get high, they can, like, have a little drink. But I'm getting somebody that's a smoker. They like to get high. They like to laugh and chill out. Uh, they don't like a lot of drama and shit. But I'm getting, like, something could have happened with somebody's dog. If not somebody's dog, something could have happened with somebody that was close to somebody, like a best friend. This could even be a child as well. Whether it happened with a child or a dog. 
Not to say like a dog and a child is the same thing, but I'm getting like it could be either one, one of those, because he treated his dog like a baby. And I'm getting like when Kevin Hart was a baby in the plane, flying over his head. So this could definitely have something to do with a baby. Somebody could be taking flights or they're somewhere where they have to take a flight, um, Aquarius. And I'm also getting that. Now I'm getting some other shit. All right, cool. Noel, chill out. I'm getting, um, I'm getting like with, I'm getting that part. Okay, okay, hi, Pies. Come on, see. <sighs> Somebody's illusion is. I'm getting the part where, okay, he got all the money. Kevin Hart got all the money, right? And then he got fa famous. And then I'm getting like, tell me where you headed. Can I walk with you, girl? Somebody could be dealing with a tourist. I got tourists in their chart. But somebody could be introducing themselves to somebody or they already have. Um, somebody here could be illusionist, though. Because I, now I'm getting um, somebody fell down a damn rabbit hole. Bloop. I listen, Wonderland energy. I'm getting that little cat that kept on appearing. It's like I was looking into this smoke and the cat appeared. And you know, on um literally on Alice in Wonderland when he fell down the rabbit hole, he literally, you know, was uh, now I'm getting Harry Potter. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting so much. Let's get the cards out. Because <laughs> I'm getting, like, it's, it's a lot of shit that's going. I feel like this is how people, I, I feel like this is how somebody is, is looking at their life right now. Like, damn, like, it's skipping parts. Somebody could have, something could have happened. Somebody could have got some money or something. It's skipping parts or whatever. Leave that alone and get out of here. It's skipping parts. Excuse me about that. Um, But I'm getting, like, Somebody fell down a rabbit hole and they was, okay. Hold on. Okay, okay so that's what I was saying. So I was getting like, um, yeah, so somebody could have met somebody, right? Okay. Um, somebody could just met somebody at a park or uh, um, out a gathering event or somewhere. They, maybe they were around other friends or, um, okay? But I'm getting like somebody here could have been in some type of they I don't know. It's giving me like somebody fell down the um the damn rabbit hole. Okay, they could have got introduced with some drugs. I smoked some shit with somebody that had them super high. Look, we got yes, and we got don't um don't talk, just kiss. I feel like somebody was distracted here. They um got into a life of passion. Passion and crimes. So a lot of crimes and shit were committed. Um, I feel like somebody, um, somebody wanted somebody to look the other way on purpose, though. Yeah, we got life is a blessing as it is. I feel like that's how somebody is feeling currently. But I'm getting like, yeah, but I'm also getting like Hogwarts type of energy that Harry Potter. You know, when it first come on, when Harry Potter first come on, I'm getting like that type of energy. And it started way back when somebody was a kid. So let's go right in with it. Um, okay, so we got the Four of Swords here. Healing, resting, motivated, inspired. What's this in reverse? So somebody here, basically, long story short, somebody is inspired to move forward because of these events that's happening. That's probably why I was getting being done in that order because um, it's like somebody's life is being fast forward. They're going back to what they've been through. Now they're starting over. I don't know if somebody could be writing a book or a story like it all started when or something like that. Somebody could be having some type of imbalancement or when they started having like a downward spiral in their life. Or maybe this might be something you might do in the future. But I'm getting like it originally started when somebody was a child. Um, also, I'm getting so somebody is at this for of, yeah, somebody's not giving their energy out. Um, 
somebody's healing. They're currently still in a relationship, though. But they're healing. They could be hiding from this person. They let their boundaries down. They cause a lot of fights. This could be real. So somebody that walked away from somebody recently got back in a connection with somebody else. So it's giving me like if somebody walked away from somebody, yeah, look, two of cups. Somebody had walked away with some away from somebody that got back in a relationship with them. This was recent. So if you have a person that walked away, they was like, oh, yeah, I'm not want to deal with them no more. They let their guard down with the ten of wands in reverse. They let their boundaries down and got back in that relationship with that person. I don't know, but for some of y'all, they betrayed you twice with the same person. They left, and then they came back again. Magician in reverse. This person's a magician. They manipulated them, Houdini, witchcraft, illusions, whatever. Uh, but I feel like this is the secret. This is what they're doing, but somebody keeps falling for it, so I don't know. It's really hurting them more than it's hurting you. Uh, but I feel like somebody's trying to get one up on you. They could be feeling like your feelings is hurt, whoever you are. With that don't don't talk, just kiss, yeah, that's definitely a distraction. Somebody's distracting the fuck out of somebody. So I feel like somebody is healing their energy from an empress in reverse relationship to a cup. They, they are they healed, but then they, they went back to this person. Okay. This person want to move into common wires with you, but you know that they're, they are weak. You know that they're weak, Aquarius. It's like you keep falling for that same shit. You keep getting sucked back in. You keep reminiscing about this person. I don't care that this person could be doing magic and shit for some of y'all. Or they could just, some for some of y'all, they really is doing magic. Because we got the magician in the reverse with the knave of wands. And they both coming upside down. So this is on the nose to you and your person here. They are, in fact, doing magic, okay? Bad news. And this is something you didn't even know. But the thing about it is, this person has to stay strong, but they're not. Somebody's not staying. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this person could be having movement in their life because they're constantly getting defeated each time they keep going back to this person. But I feel like this part, they won't be coming towards you because you cannot be wrapped up in the cycle that they're wrapped up in. It's like, let them motherfuckers do whatever that they want to do. You know? So what else is here? I feel like this is mostly talking about your person. You have four cups in the uh, reverse. High power is saying be wise about your energy, but don't reject. Be wise about your energy. It's something about your presence being known or available to this person who could it could possibly break this spell work. Um Yeah, secret here. Yeah, to help this person walk away. So it's like the more they get closer to the closer I get to you. The more you make me feel. So it's like a, the closer this person gets to you, um, or the closer they get to thinking about coming towards you or something, the more farther away they pull away from somebody else. And the more this person is unable to actually put magic on this person. Because this person keeps coming back to this person. But I feel like it's because they have been successful at keeping y'all away from each other. I'm getting like y'all don't even... Being, even just being friends, not even even being friends like that, but like, it's something about being around you and your essence. It's going to help this person snap out of a trend or something. It's like when somebody away from you, you can't. Can't really do shit. Yeah, I'm here. Tell me where you headed. Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes. So they met somebody, right? A queen of cups. And this person in reverse. This woman's a very manip manipulative person here. This man was having sex with this woman or in some type of sexual relationship with this woman. This 
woman like this man. This could have been before, but this woman has an embarrassment. She's not right. Right. Not to say it like that, but this woman's not though. Um this woman's not healed. She's not authentic. because um, with the four of swords, this is like a karmic. She's not healed. Um six of swords. But I'm getting they these people were celebrating traumas with each other. Like this they know this person from their past somewhere. They could have had children with this person. Don't have to be though. They could have just been with this person before. Like and this person was like a manipulator with their love before to this person. But this this man, I'm getting a king of wands, so she could be very attracted to this man or something here. She knows how to manipulate him. Manipulate men in general. With the moon, the period. I feel like he's not even attracted to her. That's probably why he keeps thinking, like, why I keep going back to this woman? I don't even like her like that. Or she not even know how that or something. That's because this woman's doing magic. Somebody could be finding that out, or they will. Aquarius, yeah, that they're in an illusion, a heavy illusion. You know how you see women that could be better, or men that could be better, and you're like, why am I still with you? Not to be mean, but like literally, like why can't I walk away? This could be because of sexual reasons too. Yeah. Somebody could like the way somebody has sex. Or like I said, this woman could like this man, but she's emotionally manipulative. Or maybe this man likes this woman, but this one is still emotionally manipulative. And like she's manipulative with her love, her sex, everything. This man's like, why do I still deal with her? She mean. And it's like, uh, mean to me. But then she get this man right back in this cave. So I'm getting like, somebody could be like a cold-hearted bitch and be manipulating somebody, but it do some magic. So that's why they could be coming out like that. Act nice and then act mean. But I don't even get like it's acting nice. It's like this person just fucking mean. And then they do spell work to get this person to come back uh, drawn towards them, to be back attracted towards them. And this motherfucker, this man is like, how? How? Why did I even end up over here? Or what the fuck? Yeah, because they, did somebody recently just reconnected with this woman. And, and they seeing this shit again. Like, bitch, you still mean or something? I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just want to hit you up or call you or something. Yeah, I feel like this man gonna keep going through this until he decides, until he really like, truly protects himself. Cause if somebody keeps letting their guard down with the page of swords here, this is how they keep getting betrayed. Because they keep letting their guard down. Somebody view somebody as weak. Somebody view somebody as weak. That they could just get get back with them whenever they want to. It's like, yeah, I can shit on them. Watch me shit on them, and then they ain't gonna talk to me for five days. And then watch me, um, like somebody's telling other people this. I'm gonna shit on them, and then watch they gonna be back around me or something like that. Or watch, I can say, I, I can have motherfuckers do whatever I want them to do. Watch me do it or something like that. Yeah, I feel like somebody has fell falling out of love or somebody literally with the devil in the reverse coming upside down with the um with the ace of cups coming upside down. Yeah, somebody's gonna realize that somebody's playing the fuck out of them. That they don't even really care, they only call this person. They don't, yeah, they don't need somebody don't see this coming. It's coming though. They gonna find out that somebody's playing the fuck out of them. This is what they do. Yeah, justice. This is what they do. They've been doing this for a long time. It's like, watch me cut them out. Watch me be mean. 
Watch me talk all that shit to them and watch they be right back. They be snickering and laughing to other people. Oh, damn, my mic. My bad if the mic went out, family. I do apologize. But they are sneakering, snickering and laughing to other people about this as well. Uh-huh. But this is why somebody constantly comes back. Um, or they don't know why they come back or whatever. They could think like, oh, it's for the sex or whatever. It's just magic. They just doing magic. I don't even think it's about the sex or none of that. Somebody's just doing magic. It's like they're mean as fuck. Um they're mean as fuck. And it's like you try to walk away from this person. And then they come back. I mean, not they come back, but you end up coming back. You start to lose money. You start to lose money or something. You feel like you need this person help. That could be another thing for somebody here. They start to lose money. They start to lose because somebody's doing magic on your money. You start to lose money, finances. You feel lonely or something. Or you feel like you need this person's help, some type of assistance of this person. That's because they're doing magic so that you need them. That's like your car break down and you got to call somebody for a ride to work type of shit. Somebody's making shit like that happen on purpose. Yeah, and then we got the white gnome is sticking out. Somebody's finna find that out with the hermit in reverse. This king of cups. Okay. But I'm ending on out, family. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. Happy to smile, my Aquarius family. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Send in love and light till next time, family. Um, I appreciate all the love and the support you guys have been showing to the channel. If this video has resonated and helped you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead, give your girl a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Send it love a light, peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time. Mwah. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl High Priestess Mar. Back on more tea, back with another read. We're gonna go right in and see what is the current energy for my Gemini family. Okay, high five archangels and sisters, gods and goddesses of the divine one light. Please protect me and my Gemini family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine right light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in, family. So, I'm going to just get right off the back. I don't know why I'm getting this energy of like somebody here could be somebody could work at like a nursing home. Somebody could work at like a nursing home or they work around like elderly people or they could take care of somebody elderly, sick parent. Um, I'm getting like if you're a Gemini and you're in a third like a, a situation and there's a third party involved. This woman is looking up your profiles right now. She know everything that you're doing, how you move, whenever you post, how you post, when you get online, who you talk to, who you don't talk to, who you be around, who you don't be around. This woman is talking about you behind your back. She's saying bad things. She's stalking you, um, literally. I don't know if she's around past your house, but she's definitely stalking all your social medias if you have one. Um, talking shit about you to whoever that listen. I don't get that it's just one person. I'm getting like multiple people. Whoever that listen, this woman's talking shit about you, and it's all is because of a man. Um, literally all because of a man. Um, every all because of a man. Look, desperate times. Literally, I feel like you, whether you talk to this man or not. Um, this woman. I feel like she thinks she has some advantage over you in some kind of way because this man showed her some type of tension. For some of y'all, this was like a laughing, joking matter. This man never took this woman seriously, um, not for one minute. 
Uh, but for some of y'all, there was actually a relationship here. It could have been. But I feel like it went too far. Maybe it wasn't as serious as how he felt about you or something, just a past time or something. It didn't amount to how he felt about you. But I feel like that's not even a, the kicker. I feel like it's the fact that this woman's talking about you to each and anybody that will listen. I feel like people even go on your profiles and look at you and be like, damn, I see why he left you. They don't say that to this woman, but they say that in the back of their mind. Like, damn, I see why he don't fuck with you no more or something. Like, you over here talking about this woman. You must be bitter or something like that. Um, I'm getting that real strongly. Okay. Hold on, give me one minute. Okay, I'm back. But I'm getting that though. Um, this man probably don't care, you know, about this woman at all. Or that it was like a joking matter. Um, not to be like that, but it could be a little mean. Not to be like that, but it could definitely come off a little mean. Like, maybe they joked about this woman to other people. Like, yeah, I bet I could have them do whatever I want or do this this way, lick the balls this way, have fun with them when I want to. But they never really took this woman serious. Um, But I feel like it's more, it's more of, it's more of the this woman talking about you. Some of y'all is behind you back behind your back because of a man. We have had mercy. The signs are the signs are already there. Um, don't mind if it's knocking at the door. That's my neighbor, that's the kids. They um see I, that's why I paused the first time. I'm not pausing no more. It says, Give me a minute, something isn't adding up. Why you say that? Say that again. So I feel like that shit gonna kinda something's gonna catch you off guard, Gemini like, what? Huh? Like why you why like why you say that? Type of energy. Hold on. Dang, my bad draw. Damn, they they, they want me to, but I'm busy. They want to hold on. So. I feel like with this have mercy here, somebody is not accepting somebody's apology. Um, with the page of cups here, somebody's like, no, nah, it's too much clarity, it's too much truth about it, and I feel like somebody is just too loving, they're kind. Somebody, um, let me see. Somebody is too loving, too kind. Yeah, emperor. Somebody views or somebody loves somebody. Somebody loves somebody too much. This emperor, or somebody loves you too much, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Somebody can have a nice body. Somebody can have a nice body. They could be to themselves. They do their own thing. Somebody is actually, like, really beautiful. I'm getting, like, um, y'all know the twins, Haley and Chloe. Is it Chloe? Haley and Chloe? Chloe? Bailey? Um, I'm getting like the twin that like not the one that's in a relationship, but the other one that like kind of been kind of popping out with the music and stuff. I'm getting her. You know how she started out real innocent. They were both on Disney Channel, but it's like she started popping out on red carpet, showing her body off and doing stuff, you know, and just be like being real grown up, like sexy though, grown up, like doing doing grown up shit. Um. I feel like that's the energy, and I feel like you're you're not apologizing for that. You're not apologizing for that, or somebody's not a, are you not accepting somebody's apology? Maybe you're just not being, you're just not apologizing for that, though. Shit, maybe you just clear, and you're not apologizing. It's like, no, I'm not apologizing for nothing that I did, um, or nothing that I am doing. I am who I am. I feel like it's somebody out here that's watching you that can definitely be sending this authority figure, or this could even be you, okay, about how you're rebuilding your life, okay, but for some of you guys, this is an emperor here that um is watching you and taking some type of charge, they could be rebuilding their life, okay, what else is for this have mercy, yeah, there's a conversation, oh, they could be wanting to have a conversation about rebuilding with you, 
Oh, so that could be why this woman is running her mouth to whoever that will listen. Because I sure was getting that. If somebody work at a nursing home, she be talking to the old people about you. For some of y'all, she doing witchcraft with these old people or somebody in the old, somebody that's in a nursing home. She doing witchcraft with somebody that's in a nursing home. Or some type of, I'm hearing seizures. Somebody could have had a seizure or they have seizures. Um, Where they doing, I'm hearing cross watcher, a cross watcher. So somebody that's watching this video right now is going back and doing magic on a Gemini or you are a Gemini. Uh, whether they're going back and doing magic on you. Or you are doing magic on somebody. You're doing magic on a Gemini. This man could be a Gemini. Yeah, higher fan reverse. Okay. And then it's like, yeah, we got magic here. And then we got, um, but somebody also is manifesting. So they're in a lot of regret. Maybe this has happened in the past. Okay. So y'all might want to go check out that Aquarius read. This could have happened in the past. I'm here living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. You could be laying down boundaries with new friends and partnerships, giving and receiving, having out. I'm 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 getting like you getting dressed up, going out on the town, dating and shit. Or you might just be, you know, feeling more comfortable outdoors these days, like going out, having a drink or something. You've been comfortable, but you still not. You're still very secluded where you're not having no friends, though. But you are opened up enough, you know, you have some associates. You don't have no friends. Motherfucker, like, is that your friend? No. We're just having a drink. We're just cool. <laughs> you somebody like that, you see, you feed motherfuckers with a long spoon. We're not friends. That's too big of a step. We're cool. Hey. Yeah, too many betrayals. Too many people done betrayed you. You know that? Girl, I got to watch my back because I'm not just anybody. I feel like you know that. You got to watch your back. It's a queen of wands. It's a real enemy out here, and you know that. Oh, somebody that want to see you dead or hurt, and you know that. But you ain't surprised about that. It's the energy of like shit. If I was if I was me, I would be mad. If I if I was y'all, I'd be mad at me too. Shit, I would want to get me out the way too. I'm so I'm so much the shit. You know? <laughs> that's how you feel about it. You be like, I'm the shit. Fuck you talking about. I got fans, bitch. Like, yeah, you know that. You know that. So, and we got the eight of pentacles in reverse. So be careful how you rebuild with a lot of people or people. Okay, because somebody could be trying to bind you to the past. Okay, past traumas, past situations, a king of cups here. Uh, Whether this got something to do with relationships, this could be friendships, this could be a king of cups. Whether somebody you was in a relationship with or like um, they could be trying to bind you or have you rebuild immaturely. So just have your boundaries up. Know what you know. Like, like what you like and stand on your shit. Stand on your shit. Protect yourself, protect your energy. It don't matter what you do, it's how you do it and who you do it with. Be careful, don't be intertwining with uh, no demonic spirits and shit. And if you do accidentally come across, because some of these motherfuckers be tricky, just save your energy and just stay away. Keep your distance. Okay? Um, With the page, I mean, not the page, I was going to say the page of pentacles. Yeah, page of pentacles energy. Long spoon, long. Spoon, okay, long spoon. For some of y'all, Gemini, you might want to be friendly. You know, Geminis can get real friendly, all right? But y'all definitely do got two sides to y'all. But with the Nine of Pentacles coming out in the reverse, I feel like this person has stolen something from you before or came in between something before. Y'all could have, you could have had some type of sexual encounter with this person in twine. Days gone by. 
in the family. Something with these men. This could be a man of another family. All right, so on Aquarius energy, I was getting something about Bill Cosby, but I'm getting more like the family matters dad more than Bill Cosby. But it's still something about these men want to be real, like they're so much for family, but they're really not. Queen of Wands energy. Maybe you didn't like this person reverse or Queen of Wands upside down. This person does not like you. Because you didn't, maybe you didn't want to have no damn family with them, or they come from a, a family where they follow after what the men say in the family, like their dad and stuff. But these weren't exactly honorable men here. You made that decision for yourself when you met, if you could have met this person or been around your family. Are you seeing how they grow up or how they raise their children? That they're not that honorable or something like that? Or this is what they feel. Somebody could have been encouraged to steal from you because you didn't like them. Damn, what the hell is they doing? Somebody was confused about a decision. Or maybe you are still confused. A king of pentacles in reverse. Good news. I don't know what they doing. We got judgment with the four of cups. Um, with the ace of... So whether you made your mind up and you're deciding to hold back on the Four of Cups. Let me see something. Let's get out the tea. Because I'm getting like, I'm getting like there is. You had to make a hard decision. Or you're going back and forth contemplating about something, Gemini. And uh, it's a king of pentacles in the reverse in your energy. Okay? But we don't know necessarily if this is a bad thing or not. Because we got the ace of wands here. Meaning, like, this could actually be a good thing. Something's good. Something's good news here. But it has you confused. Uh, Having to make a tough decision, but you're confused about the decision or about the person. You could be rejecting this ace here. But the signs are already there when it comes to something. Lost a job. Maybe somebody had a job and they lost it. Or somebody's no longer doing something that they were doing. Okay. We got active here. So I feel like somebody could be actively doing something. Now, usually when I say active, they give me like HIV active, but this person could be like really busy. Maybe they're trying to look for them a job or find them something. So it's giving me like, I'm here, I'm a classic, man. You can be me when you, you can. For some of y'all, you have ran into somebody that is actually a good person for you, and you could be literally rejecting them in this moment. But you could be confused that they are somebody bad, but they're not. You could have recently rejected this person and you made your mind up. This was something that divine is giving to you. This could be somebody in your community or your neighborhood here. They could have recently lost a job. That's why they coming out as the king of pentacles. Maybe you thought that they were broke. Or they didn't have anything, or like you thought, like maybe you could be you could be somebody who had been through a lot of shit, where you dealt with men with like fixer uppers or women that's like fixer uppers, and they ain't have a lot. But I feel like this this person actually do, 
they do have a, a, they could have lost a job I feel like this person feels some type of way they could have like for some of y'all you know this person before it's a long lost friend or something they always crushed on you or something they could be feeling some type of way they feeling hurt a little bit or something Where this person is alone, this person knows you before, but I don't feel like y'all been in a relationship. Can't cook or clean. They could be in a relationship as well, or they could be getting out of one. Where somebody they, mm -hmm, somebody that they could would consider a plain Jane. They could feel like you're beautiful or you're dazzling. Like damn. But the person that they're in a relationship with is like a plain Jane. Not necessarily like this person is third party or karma cream thing. Maybe this person don't cook or clean or they can't hold a stable household. And this person, this man could have had a job, right? They could have a job or they lost a job or something. So they currently like in in like not in the right mind. We got don't eat that. Somebody could have been poisoned. I never really liked you, and new beginnings in the reverse. So, I'm getting like, whether you or this person went through this, somebody definitely was poisoned, and with the new beginnings, this is why you don't want to be in another relationship because of the shit that you've been through in your past. Um, whether your ex was poisoned or you were poisoned, but just a reminder of all this shit that you were in the the deal with in the past, it makes you reject. Makes you not want to deal with something, but somebody's actual blessing. Um, I never really liked you. You feel like everybody's fake. Or like I said, if this is your person that went through this, you could still be having somebody new that's coming towards you. But the thing about it is that because your person, y'all been through a lot of shit, and a lot of times y'all marry each other, whether y'all friends or don't talk at all, you could still be in that energy of like, shit, what happened to him or them or her might happen to me. So it's like, no, I'm just going to reject, reject, reject or something like that. But somebody that came towards you or is coming towards you is actually a good person. They actually don't be on none of that shit. Some of y'all, y'all got confused because, like I said, higher power always say don't judge a book by its cover. Somebody could have definitely judged you by your cover, Gemini. And it's seeming like this new person that came to, is coming towards you, you're judging them by their cover because you could feel like they don't got no money, no job, or nothing like that. But they could have recently lost a job. Like they had, they, they were capable of making money, but they were in a bad position. With the Ace of Cups. It's a blessing from God. You could have turned this person down or you turned away an offer or you just was like, no, I'm cool. I feel like this person felt the spark between y'all or something because this person's a little salty. Are they like, I don't know. Do y'all know this person? Where did you know this person from school? You know this person from somewhere. Y'all live in the same neighborhood. I'm not getting this. is a brand new person. You've never been in a relationship with this person. Or y'all only talked. Um, and it's like, yeah, I'm getting like y'all friends, though. It's not really. I'm getting like a Six of Cups is not out here. I'm not getting somebody from your past. You could feel like the past is repeating itself. I feel like if this person want to come towards you and be with you, you just they just going to have to see. You just going to have to see. For some of y'all, you willing to miss out on the opportunity. I don't know. Because it's like, I'm going to have to see, you know, if they're going to actually be honorable. It's like, you will talk and mingle, but you're going to be keeping your eyes open. Like, I got to check you out or something like that.
you gonna be looking at them close to the motherfucker. Yeah, looking at when they don't went to work and shit. You know how I don't even know how y'all know y'all may just text and you might ask some questions. Well, how was work today or something like that? Like it's like you gonna be keeping your eye on the motherfucker. Four of cups. It's like you you like okay. Little bit, but not too much. It's still coming out as a rejection, though, because I feel like I probably, yeah, is saying that this this is a gift here. For some of y'all, this is a soulmate. It'll be if y'all have met uh, or met in the neighborhood or met around a corner or met, went to school with each other, and they met back up or whatever. Like, y'all know how they say good things coming three, good things coming two, balance and shit? It was on purpose. It's like you met this person again. It was on purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. I don't care if y'all went to work with each other for a little bit. You ain't seen them in some years, and then you see them again. It was on purpose. Okay? Anything else from Gemini? Some of y'all, this is a Sagittarius. I'm hearing the cats out of the bag. That's the damn secret divine has been holding from you. Some of y'all, you've been waiting on a new person or something. You've been waiting on some shit and it walked right in your damn face. You ain't even see it. With the fool, it walked in your face. You ain't see it. For some of y'all, you could be liking this person a little bit. You ask the higher power, like, hey, power, are you sure? <laughs> you ask the higher power, like, I don't know. Are you sure, higher power, like... I don't know. You praying and shit. You playing with cars and shit. You trying to see, like, is it her power? Is it the one? I don't know. For some of y'all, be careful. For some of y'all, this person got a... Some of y'all, somebody is still going through a transition with a family. With their family, um, a family they could have child support stuff like that. They gotta, they gotta, they got shit to do. They still got shit to deal with. That's probably why it's not no sudden moves right now. But just keep. I mean, if y'all looking for a brand new relationship, just keep your eyes open. I probably working miracles every day, okay? And don't judge no book by its cover. I'm telling y'all, y'all might see somebody. I ain't gonna say they're gonna be like a bum on the street, but. Don't get it twisted. It's what I'm getting. Like this person don't got money or they uncapable. They can't pay bills. They can't do this or that. Don't get it twisted. Don't just think that this person like that. For some of y'all, this person could be a hard working person. They just lost a job and they just down bad. Shit, they just fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a difference when you got people that don't want to work, don't want to do shit. They lazy. They want to feed off somebody. They want to manipulate calm. I feel like that period of y'all life is over. Y'all don't need to, y'all not gonna be going through no more shit like that no more. Y'all might just get with somebody and it's just meant for y'all to be friends, casually date, then this person get a job. But some of y'all shit, they might get a job. They might see you and all your shit you got going on and be like, shit, I need a job to date them. They ain't even gonna come like that. They gonna come correct. They like, shit, I need a job to be dating Gemini. I wanna take job. I want Gemini to get dressed up. I ain't taking them no after bleeds. We we going to the buffets and so somebody could be imagining a life with you and shit. Y'all getting dressed up, taking the kids out to eat and shit. They want to look nice next to you. This person don't want to be no bum, ask you for no money. Shit, they want to take you to get your nails done. Somebody want to do that for you. They like, shit, Gemini, bad one. I need to get Gemini. They need their nails done. They just want to get your nails done, your hair done and shit. Girl, who the fuck y'all done ran into? <laughs> who the fuck y'all done ran into? Girl, let me find out. Shit. Well, good. Good luck, Gemini. Look, the signs are there. The signs are already there. Okay, baby. But that's all I have for y'all. Thanks for chilling with your girl, Happy Sister Smart. I appreciate all the love and the support you guys have been showing to the channel. Thanks so very much, baby. If this video has helped you resonate with you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Guess definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you in the next one, family. Peace, love, and prosperity. Mwah. Till next time. Bye.
Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Happy Sis Mark. Back on more tea, back on another read. We're gonna save our space and go right in and see what's up with my Libras. Hi, power archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my Libra as we dip into this energy. Please protect our energy um, from any. <laughs> Me and my Libra, as we dip into this reading, excuse me, family, please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in. So, I'm getting, um, I was hearing Libra, okay? I was hearing justice. I was hearing all, it's all fair in the game of love and war. So, I feel like this has turned into a game for you, Libra, even though that's not what, that wasn't your attention. Shit, I feel like you was just going up out your merry way. How far face these options in front of you, and it's turning into like a game. I'm hearing a cycle, okay? Um, I feel like for you, you could be a little irritated because it's the energy of like you having to pick and choose, but I feel like you've been through a lot of shit. Yeah, I'm hearing dear fuck niggas. Can't believe I used to fuck with you, Papa Bam, because I ain't finna be stuck with you, damn. I see you still kick it with them op bitches. I'm the only reason that your goofy ass got bitches. All them hoes want to be like me. Yeah, y'all know, uh, probably fucking you just to spite me. Yeah, please don't get it twisted. I'd rather be independent. I never put my faith in a nigga, bitch. I'ma die independent. And if you wondering, yeah, boy, I'm still that bitch. I know you. I know you blocked me, but you still gotta watch this shit. Cause who the fuck rocking like me? No bra, tight tees. <laughs> Girl, I ain't finna sing this whole damn song. Y'all know Megan and Stallion Plan B. Um. I feel like that's somebody's energy. So you could be a little irritated because you just, yeah, burnt food. Somebody going to go in a restaurant. Please keep in mind, family, I'm not only a tarot reader, but I'm also a psychic. So my readings could definitely be future-based. Please take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. Somebody going to go to a restaurant. Somebody going to invite you down, out. You going to feel like things just keep going wrong. Your, your food going to get burnt or something. Or the food ain't going to be good. You, your, your whole energy going to be turned off. I don't know. That's for somebody in the future coming up. Somebody going to ask you out somewhere. Uh, somebody could be dating. Okay? Like, somebody like seven minutes since you meet somebody, you feel like everything's good, and you're like, no, nah, you just turned off. Like, you could actually go on a date with someone, and you you don't, your energy just completely turned off. Like, no, um what the fuck am I doing here? Or I'm ready to go. I know I'm not going to date you anymore. Like, I know to block your damn number or something like that. But it's just, it ain't going to be, I don't know if it be the person. It's the energy. I feel like your energy, you, I could be talking to somebody that's real picky. You ain't with the shits, Libra. And I don't blame you. You be somebody that went through a whole lot of shit. That's why I keep getting that justice in that um damn Megan and Stallion song. You feel like you're not finna be stuck with nobody's kids. You're not going to be stuck with nobody bullshit. This is the energy you in. Papa Plan B says I ain't planning to be stuck with you. Damn. I see you still kick it with them out bitches. I'm the only reason that your goofy ass got bitches. Because all them hoes want to be like you. I feel like this is like the story of your life. You got a group of bitches that's mad. You got a group of niggas that want to come back. And it just always happened like that. I feel like you're irritated with that shit. Are you tired of that? Study happening. But I feel like it's like a game of thrones or something. Like literally motherfucker fighting to sit on, sit with you. To literally sit with you. You got hoes, females that's fighting to sit beside you. Then you got females that's fighting. I mean, men that's fighting to sit with you. Okay. Um, some of these men has lost their position and they trying to get in the way of somebody new coming towards you or getting your head about somebody new that's coming towards you. I feel like some of these men might have a chance of coming back. Some of these men, it's no possible chance for them coming back. And the only reason a man will be able to, or a woman, 
Because this I could definitely be talking to a man too. Okay, but take it how it resonates. Only reason that they will be able to, to come back is if they have had an ego death and they have made some type of changes in their life in order for you know for you guys to make a way for each other. But I feel like you could just you could probably I don't know, but still you still have options here. You're being told to get out there and date and see what you have to explore. I feel like you know that the other ones, for some of y'all, these old people that want to be with you, if you wait on the old person, they're not going to come in until you get out there and date somebody new. Because higher power wants you to have options to you for you to see. It's like if you keep turning everybody down, this new person not going to come or somebody not going to. I feel like higher power going to want you to make a, a, a choice. And I feel like you tired because you don't want to keep making choices because you don't want to make the bad one. But I feel like it's going to be a between a good and a good. So either way it go, it's good. Okay? I feel like that's the tip for you, Libra. Either way it go, it's going to be good. Yeah, look, life is a blessing as it is. And then we got to laugh my ass off. It's funny to you. You like, damn, higher power, you done done it again. You done tricked me again, higher power. What are you doing? Like. I feel like that's your energy. We got blackmail. I feel like somebody's trying to blackmail you to keep your word, Libra. Somebody like, no, nah, Libra, remember you said we was going to work it out. No, this is energetic. Somebody's like, no, Libra. You said, and I feel like you like, I know what I said, but I feel like you like shit. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting Bernie Mac when he was like, yeah, he said, she, he said, like, damn, she got ass. He said, she, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Somebody could be a stripper or somebody could like to dance. You ain't necessarily got to be a stripper to dance like a stripper. Um, But I'm getting like somebody, because somebody could be looking at somebody like, shit, I don't know. This could be somebody that's eyeing you and you eyeing somebody or something like that. And then you got somebody in the background that's like, remember you said. Okay, that's for somebody here. Mm, let's see, we got laugh my ass off, Queen of Swords. Well, I just seen this Queen of Swords in reverse. Let me see what this is about, though. I feel like somebody's being cold hearted, but not on purpose. Maybe you could be being cold hearted and then laugh about it like, damn, I was just real mean. I feel like you're not trying to be. You're trying to protect yourself. I'm here to protect yourself before you break yourself. Who be playing GTA? Who be listening to, uh, ooh, uh. Somebody be driving in their car on the GTA games. Girl, I'm here to protect yourself before you break yourself, but I just got a whole nother meaning. This is somebody that's energetically like, I'll break your, or break your ass. With the seven of wands, like, don't play with me. And I tried to block the bitch out, the bitch word, because that's what they saying. They don't want to call you a bitch, but they like, don't play with me. Damn. Look, Wheel of Fortune, but this person's like, don't play with me. You just think everything's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you think everything's funny, but this person, like, I will really get on your ass. Stop playing with me. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. You got a Gemini in your chart. I feel like this is how you feel, Libra. Whether you feel this way about somebody or somebody feels this way about you. Yeah, this person keep being in this night of wands, goofy, playing around energy. They think everything funny and shit. You serious, though. I feel like you on the verge of walking away from this person because you feel like they're not taking you serious. Or maybe you just not taking nobody serious when they walked away. Okay. Rebuilding immaturely. Not a king of cuss. So I feel like you feel like, Libra, somebody's getting over their traumas the wrong way or they're doing, they're going about situations the wrong way. They're just doing shit. They're, they're not thinking before they do. Um, you can even feel like somebody wants attention. Yeah, because I feel like this person's constantly in this night of wands, or maybe this is how you feel. You think they find everything to be funny, everything's a joke. So you you feel like you you like, man, I don't got time for this shit or something. Okay. 
Real ones, yeah. But what you don't see coming is a rebirth. Okay, and I feel like you're going to want to end a situation, but you're not going to end it with the lovers. Somebody could be dealing with a twin flame. Maybe this could be a rebirth in your situation here with the lovers. What is the lovers? Somebody could have karmic lovers that's pretending or persistent. So somebody could be having like, be getting a lot of attention by karmic soulmates or they had before in the past. And I feel like, so you could be the one that's energetically holding on to Libra. With all those coming out like that. Or you're a Libra and you're energetically holding on to somebody. Like, don't leave me. I'm getting, don't leave me, girl. Stay with me tonight. I feel like somebody be want to go out and do shit. And you be like, no, just stay in the house. This is what you you wanna and you want them you wanna ruin their plans. You wanna interjectly tell them like no, stay in the house. Look, I wanna eat your yoni. You find somebody attractive, or they find you attractive. Excuse me, as you can't see because it's like, it's a, but it says um I wanna eat your yoni and we got it was on purpose. Somebody feels like no, you need to heal. Somebody could be telling you these motherfuckers that they could be warning you about people that's coming around you. Like, no, they ain't no good for you. Stay away from them. We got yes. And we got one to three kids. About somebody um who has multiple children or something. Like, stay away. They could be telling you, like, stay away from this person. Um, They're not good for you. So they're warning you about potential suitors that be coming, that could be coming towards you. That they're karmic stomach. This is some, This got to be a twin flame connection. Twin flame or high level soulmate, but I'm getting strongly twin flame because they could be telepathically telling you this. Like, they not no good for you or something like that. Like, it's like they could feel these people energy. But some of y'all, these people, if somebody keeping tabs on you like a motherfucker. That's why we keep getting a three of wands. You do not even see this. But somebody's keeping tabs on you like a motherfucker. The three of wands keep coming out in reverse. You gonna find this out, though. Maybe they gonna tell you, like, yeah, yeah, you would know if it's like this person knows when people's or people are around you or something. They know when you have sex, when you entwine your energy, when you really like somebody or when you don't like somebody. They know. It's like this person know. I don't know how they know, but they know. And they telepathically tell you shit like they ain't shit. They using you. But some of y'all. They gonna do this shit anyway, just being honest. Whether it's a good person or not. Yep, with the sun, it's been illuminated. They gonna do this with a good person or not. Because they don't want you to move forward. But for some of y'all, they could actually be protecting y'all from people that's not good. Because you could be a little confused. Are you keep getting confused? Yeah, by these naval wine energy, these men walking around with their shirts off and all this other shit. And they want to talk to you and send you messages and want to get to know you. And they out there looking good and you looking good and you've been single for a while and all this other shit. But I feel like all that's nice or whatever. You can talk and have friends. I feel this person like they on that eat the cake anime shit. They like, no. Remember what we said. Remember our Peaky promise or something like that. I feel like you just still think everything funny. <laughs> mm, let's see. What else? Yep, six of cups from your past. This person's being vulnerable about a lie. It's a secret here. A lie about why they left you out in the cold and a secret. A secret that they have or the secret was why they left you out in the cold. Um, for some of y'all, this person's going to come. It's going to, and they're going to tell you a whole lot of shit after that because they get a whole lot of shit. Uh, some type of bondage. 
for some of y'all, they are, they do, whether you dip and dab in magic or not, this person does, your person do. And that could be like, you could be spiritual. This person actually, actually dips in magic. They do magic. So it's like, they be spying on you. That's how they be knowing who comes around you. You could literally feel this person energetically all around you. They they are literally spying on you, using monitoring spirits and shit like that. Not necessarily that it's always bad, but this person got an obsession with keeping their eye on you. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Wrapped in plastic. Ain't that fantastic. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But... I feel like I feel like somebody though, yes, yeah, strength. You gon you finna find this out and you probably gonna be pissed about it. This is how somebody been keeping tabs on you, watching you and shit. They finna monitoring spirits and stuff. Or they're monitoring you energetically. Somebody could be astro projecting. Um, not astro projecting, but um astro traveling. Okay? Go booty. They could be astro traveling. So it's like this person is finding a way to keep eyes on you. Okay, they reading people energy around you. Nah, I heard nah, a dog, a player, or something like that. I feel like they're gonna say that anyway, though. They're gonna say that with anybody. Some of these motherfuckers might be. But they're gonna say that with anybody, though. I feel like you just find it funny, Libra. They feel like you're a treasure, you're a gift. And they feel like you can't nobody have you. But I feel like this person has not came to you in the flesh. If they have, it's only been through text messages. You haven't actually seen this person or it's been a picture. Um, five of swords in reverse. Three of wands. Yeah, you're curious. Or this person's come to some type of conclusion of saying something. This page of wands, this could be like a letter, a expression, traveling a long distance, whether they're driving or whatever, to, to negotiate something, to, something here. But with the hierophant, this person is being honorable, though. This person is being a true hierophant. Or you're a true hierophant because of the things that you've been through. I feel like it's this person, though. So, let's go right in and see what is this. I'm hearing life is good. Future. Somebody be listening to future. I feel like life is good because you ain't got nobody trying to manipulate you or hurt you around, you know, in your energy. You removed yourself from all those people. You feel like life is good. You chilling or whatever with the justice, okay? You're in this good energy here. You're realizing that anything and everybody that comes towards you is a blessing. Okay, with the moon. I still feel like you be having your guards up, though. You could be mysterious about everything. I feel like this is a man Libra towards a woman Libra over here. And this is, I feel like this is going to be a woman Libra perspective. Yeah. You still got your guards up, but you taking leaps of faith here. You're jumping out there and shit. You like, I'm going to jump. If I drown, shit, God know why. Please don't let me die or something like that. You like, but I'm going to jump on out here and see what's out here. But I feel like it's no more harshness no more. Queen of Swords, I feel like you the harshest it's going to get, honestly. Yeah, Knight of Cups in the reverse because you turning down people left and right. You could be hurting people's feelings, taking back energies. I feel like you're not doing this on purpose, even if you make friends or whatever. You could be pulling your energy back from them because you just feel like you need to be in this queen of swords energy. So you could get cold hearted. You could have a good time. And then the next moment you like, no, it's time for me time now. Same thing with like, God, you might be out flirting, talking. And then the next day, the next morning you like, shit, I don't even like them. Block. 
or something like that. Or shit, I don't feel like dealing with them today. It was all nice. They was in my face yesterday, but I don't feel like dealing with them today. Or something like that. Um... I feel like you're being grateful, though. I feel like you're not doing it on purpose. You're just a little traumatized. You got a little anxiety or fear around you. You're still thinking about the bad times with the nine of swords, Libra. You are, and you're just trying to protect yourself. That's all. Look, I probably feel like you could be overthinking a little bit. It could be this damn person in your energy, too. For some of y'all, because I just seen the king. Look, because they want to move forward. So for some of y'all, they... they making you feel like everybody around you is bad because they want to move forward with you. Even like if you get friends, they can be like, they're not the good kind of friends you need around you type of energy or something like that. Um, that's why you're acting in this Queen of Swords energy. Uh, with the Two of Wands coming out in a reverse, you need to get more information about something because something is a bad decision. What is this? Something is a bad decision. You got a gift here. Something's actually a gift. Oh, shit. It's going back to that Gemini read. Y'all got to go check it out. Ooh, look at all that fill out. Let me see. Um, nine one one, a lot. Not ooh, I said nine one one. Angelica senses. I mean nine nine nine. Alignment on a bad decision that you made, affected by karmic, and we got background checks. So it's a karmic back here doing background checks on you. Gather more information about something because something is a bad decision. Let me see. What is this? Somebody is um, bonded with saying the wannabe ass man, his minion, a.k.a. the devil and his minion. But we got bitch evil could never. Okay. We got somebody's a good person. There was a breakup. Somebody's mentally unstable. Bitch, I got your nigga. Thought they thought it was something that it wasn't. So I, I'm feeling like there could be a karmic cure that's trying to set somebody up because this woman was mentally unstable. She didn't think everything through. She ended up doing some type of background check and um, finding out, or this person could be just watching all your social medias, finding out some shit about you. You could actually be a very good person here. Um, this person broke up with somebody because this woman, she thought she had your nigga or something, but she was doing stuff to be spiteful, so the tables have turned on her. Now, the nigga that she thought she had is want to be with you. They want to be with you, but I feel like you are acting brand new, is what I heard, Libra. Let me see, what's Libra's energy? But what we still, what is this still gather more information, though? It's something you need to look at more. Maybe these people that comes towards you and these new people, these new friendships and shit. Because some of these people is, um, maybe this woman is doing shit, okay, paying these people. Okay, we seen spirits that walk away. Walk away from who? They could have walked away from this woman. Somebody could be short, a nine, a five. Somebody left to prove a point. Somebody walked away from somebody to prove a point here. A regular, uh, a thumb is going on a regular basis, nine to five. Somebody could be short. Small lips. This is somebody that don't say shit. Or they're not saying something about a rebirth. They're being quiet. Or you're not. You not saying nothing about nothing, but somebody is grateful for opportunity. 
So yeah, so be do be careful of the yeah, I fucked you to get back. Do be careful of the people that's coming or back, uh um that, that could be coming back or coming around you. I'm getting like somebody that could be these new people. Don't trust somebody that could be coming because they could be trying to have sex with you for money or some type of exchange as if you were like a prostitute or something, or it's like they they want something from you. They could be paid by somebody or this could be energetically by him downstairs. Um, saying I want to be as man to buy to bind you to some type of toxicity and shit. Okay, but then there's also somebody here that is actually going through a rebirth. Yeah, somebody wants you to let your boundaries down. Like say for instance, if you've been um celibate, um, because I'm I heard succubus, somebody wanna place a spirit demon on you. Yep. So be careful if you are out here mingling, having a good time. Don't drink too much. Don't overindulge. Don't do too much. Still stay in your king, queen of swords energy. This is a good thing. And for some of y'all, like I said, this person's actually helping you. Okay? Because they feel like ain't nobody going to... For some of y'all, you could feel like you're going to get better, right? Depending on who, what you've been through with this person. You could feel like that, Libra. But somebody feels like you ain't going to get no better than me. That's why this person is not saying nothing about this rebirth and this change that they're making. But somebody's like, all of them, you could feel like it's a nice gentleman man that's coming towards you. They still ain't gonna do no better than how I'ma treat you. So in their eyes, they turning away from air. They turning you away from everybody because you know, even friends. Like you don't need that person as a friend. I'll be your friend. I'll be your best friend. Could you be my best friend? I want you around all the time, best friend. Yeah, they like, I don't, you don't need them as your best friend. Just get them away from you. I'll be your best friend. Somebody's protective. Somebody just feels like you're a gift and you need to be protected. They're not saying nothing about the changes that they're making, but they are making some type of changes. They're being silent about it. Yeah, they got their mouth closed. They ain't saying shit. I'm, I'm somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. You need to check out that Gemini read because I'm here through a wire. Um, sometimes somebody could have got shot. They mouth could be wired shut, or it's like they could have been in some shit where they got a they like a traumatizing event. Maybe they was laying in a hospital bed and they couldn't talk for a long time, and so this person just became kind of like a mute. They don't really say shit or something like that, but. That's all I have for you, my Gemini bestie. Thanks for chilling with your girl. If this video has resonated and helped you in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up, okay? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love and appreciate all the support you guys have been showing to the channel already. Thank you so very much, family. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time. Bye.